Uh, by the names I'm called Anyede Monica from Busia District, Tira Sub County, Tira B Village. I'm a gold miner, artisanal and small scale gold miner. I have three children and as you see it is an extended family. It's five years down the road since ever since I started gold mining and I sat down so I had nothing to do then. I had to engage myself into gold mining. And it has helped me a lot because as you see, I can manage the family that I have. I can take my children to school. I clothe them. I put food on the table. So it is something that has really made me to reach where I am right now. Because when I look behind where I was by that time, I didn't have anything. But compared to now, at least I'm a step ahead. My dream is to become a businesswoman and very powerful businesswoman because I want to be to ha to own my own business and I'm expecting in five year time uh, to have a big and strong hardware of myself so that I can move out of mining to own my own business as a businesswoman. We were doing open cast mining, which was done a long time ago by our, grand, uh, our grandparents. So as you, you saw, it was 30 feet down, uh, and that was open cast whereby they use rudimentary materials. There is a pit axe, the spades, and also we have the, the benches. So the benches help us to get into the pit and coming out. And also sometimes when you have got the ore, you, the ore has to pass through the benches to come out. So we were harvesting the ore, getting it out of the pit, uh, inside the pit, and bringing it out. The mining here, particularly in our area here, following the history that we are being told, uh, it was uh, started as early as 1930s uh, by some Bazungus, the Andai Muzungu, who was called the French. Uh, that is the name that we got, and the pit, some of the pits you see behind me were dug by that Muzungu during those years, and uh, that uh, our grand-grandparents were employees of that Muzungu, and uh, we also found actually what we are doing, it is like something that we are inheriting from the grand-grandparents. You know, mining in Busia district is currently in around four sub counties. Sikuda, sub county, we have Buteva, we have Tira Town Council, and then Busitema. 
the small scale associations here, these are a group of people who came together. Most especially the one I lead, the, lead, the Landlords and Artisanal Miners Association, is a combination of the landowners and the artisanal, the miners, whom we mobilize to come together such that we move from the level of illegal miners to a level of legalized miners, such that we also benefit and the government also benefit as we know that the taxation is that we pay as small scale uh, to our nation, they also benefit us in terms of schools, roads, hospitals, drugs, to mention but a few. From here, I have to ferry this ore to the processing plant, whereby I use a boda boda to ferry from the site to the processing plant, whereby I'm going to split the big, big stones, uh, crush them, then after that, I either dry them or use wet milling. So as you see, today's work, it is like one truck whereby in a truck you can get something like 35 grams per day, which is equivalent to something like only 3.5 million shillings. extract uh, the ore right from the pit then we bring it here we split the ore then direct for milling because it is wet to milling we don't worry whether it is wet dry or what uh, then after that after splitting the ore we have to put it into the bowl mill after putting in the bowl mill it has to a uh, mill for 45 minutes after 45 minutes you release the tailings to the tank. After that, you're going to, to deline de de the, the tailings. You, after delining the tailings, you're going to start the concentration. You will get the concentrate, you pan. After that, you're going to use the magnet. Uh, why do we use the magnet? It's because we purify all the impurities we use uh, the magnet to trap. Uh, this process uses borax. Borax is not effective to uh, human beings, livestock, and also the environment. We established that the entire Uganda gold mine, ASM gold mining subsector, uses 14 tons of mercury to produce seven tons of gold every year. That's a lot of mercury out in circulation, in our food systems, in our water systems, in communities where mining is taking place like Busia, like uh, Mubende, like Boweju, uh, and some other areas in Karamoja like Nakapepirit, in Moroto, na Nakabat, and all those areas where you have concentration of gold mining. All the water bonds that are around here, they are contaminated with mercury. Even these ladies who do okweyi here, when they use mercury or in their bonds, they'll end up again bringing them outside here and contaminate the water that is here. So you'll come there and see that the effects of mercury has raised high in this community, whereby you find that our children were uh, some years back they were clever, but you come and find them that nowadays the children are no longer performing at school. Reason why that the poisonous of mercury has already poisoned them 
Now, if we relate the, pa the performance of schools around Dira and other schools outside Dira, you realize that Dira is one of the worst performing town council sub-county in the entire district. You realize that uh, for a period of many years, we have not realized even a grade one. Nowadays, our men are not performing well in bed. Reason why it is mercury, because they are use, ever using mercury. Uh, you'll find the children come and swim. The cows drink this very water here. And sometimes without knowing, we have these suppliers of water. The person tells you that he has gone to fetch water from the borehole, but he will end up in the pit to fetch water and come and supply to you. Without you knowing, a hotel uh, person, you'll find that you're using that very water for cooking food, which is poisonous, and you'll end up supplying almost 150 people because you are a hotel manager and people have to eat from your hotel. So you find that that supply change of mercury and poisonous is moving and it is killing people, slow but sure. <laughs> Family so for now it's actually illegal to use much in Uganda. Uh, but other other chemicals like borax have been used as alternatives. You know, before you burn something, you need to introduce an alternative because people have to have something uh, else to use. And you introduce to introduce more of these uh, alternatives with time, so that uh, within a very short time, our artisans are able to move out from this machinery to to using more environmentally friendly uh, processing technologies. Uh, we have regulated the machinery. Mature right now, you can't get anybody burning the gold amalgam anyhow. Most people in this community know gold must be melted in a designated area. If we got you doing the burning of gold anyhow, we shall have you arrested and you will have to pay heavily. Tira Small Scale has a demonstration site for the Gold Free, Free Your Mind Gold Project. And here we are, we are moving in a positive direction. We feel we are not going to pollute the environment we want. And you know, right now, government says if you, they got you using mature, it's a lot of money. Is it 2,000 currency points when you, you converted it to Uganda shillings? This. For me and some of my members, we have changed into a mercury free whereby we use borax. And in this pro, uh, facility, I myself am the chairman, uh, chairperson of this uh, mercury free processing uh, facility. Then also I'm a trainer uh, on mercury free processing uh, facility. I've trained so far in four districts. That is Amdata district, uh, that is Kasanda district, Mubende district, and uh, Tira itself, and also Bukweju district. Where so far we have got uh, around 300 miners that we have transformed out of mercury to borax method. So now we are shifting from open cast mining to timbering uh, and we learned timbering from when we went for a visit to Tanzania, that is when we found that those people have modified. So when we went for a visit we also saw that it's better and it is a safe method of mining. 
Reason why? Because when we use the timbering, we construct it and you find that when we are constructing our pit, uh, we use the poles to hold the wall and then we use the timbers for tunneling. So it is much safer whereby you cannot get much accidents inside the pit. Uh, compared to the open cast, you might be using the excavator or sometimes the local uh, method, the rudimentary materials. So uh, you'll find that uh, there is a crack up and you're deep inside the, the hole whereby you can't know. Uh, in any slight mistake, you'll come and find that the soil collapse and then it does what? It kills people. But with the timbering, it is more uh, safer than the open cast mining. Uh, as you can see, these are the, uh, the, uh, the poles that support the wall. And after that, we are going to use the timbers to channel where the vein is. So we shall be following that channel and also timbering the what? Uh, the road where these people will be using as a tunnel to get their veins. <laughs> For you to be a legal minor, at least you have to have gender. That's why you're seeing these ladies. And the work of these ladies is sometimes some of them have shares in the pit. And some of them come like Okweyiya. Uh, you find them when they've brought the oar outside, they uh, heap the oar. When these men have already shared their oar, these ladies come to Okweyiya. They sweep there, they use their holes, they use their basins to get the remainders that have been left there. So that they also go, take them, they process it and get something. By the end of the day, you'll come and find that they've got something to spoon feed their children at home. So for you to see the lady coming to the mining site, that lady needs sugar, she needs school fees for her child, she needs a book, she needs almost each and everything because they are now the heroes of the families, the ladies that you see there. So that is why even the sites allow them to do what? To come and work here. Yeah. I'm <laughs> 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 Point <laughs> Never was a sent to village saving the affair to the co. Nangamba can a year moon and go much other. One affair Gaffa by Chara to gain enough a two for Nakatono, a two for Nanjin was it to Arapaka or Guruari, at a two Gurawa no Butono. Nafe ne tuwele za kati nange nsolo za kubo, ne mala nange ne mba tuwalida, ne nange mfuna koja sika tono.
after the mines, their money is being shared into very many categories because now we divide, we say, uh, suppose you want to remain with that, that uh, the Boda Boda has to take uh, some food at home, the Boda Boda has to get, uh, the grocery has to get also. Uh, sometimes you find that also children get their school fees right from that money. And some of us, we do the savings whereby after we are uh, harvesting our money and also doing the processing, those who want to go for clubbing, they can do that. And sometimes those who go home uh, also do that because we have very many categories. We have the single mothers, we have the um, married women, we have the widows and the widowers. Uh, let's say in the mining, every category is there. Those who have the responsibilities go back home and do what and take care of the families, while the others uh, who are still the youths have to gain sasanya, their money. So they have to go for clubbing, they have to go play ludo, each and every kind that they want to do with their money, you'll get them there. Tuvawano, mkukola, netu genda waka, ba mama be waka netu, netu ba wako kukantu, nga, nga mere. Bagamba lietano sigazetano. Netuja yo aketano, netu koma we no mutauni afe, netu ya kusente. Eh, buli, fetu kola we tuti obuli kufuna sente. Abantu batu gamba nyombu no tono na sente. Simanyi bichi. Era golo di wanotira, yaringa o, na yeda. Nga bajaja bafe, nga bakolaji, nga basima. Kati tuwa, tuwa zari wane tukula, netu sanga ngevinya, nga vya kawansi nyo. Nga sende zeda, teziri wonga sawa zino. Kati sitore liyeyo, simanyi tira muli musente, neda muja tuku vyo muka. Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you, mother? I'm okay, how are you? Well done. Thank you. Mm. Who am I speaking to? As usual, you know the person that you're speaking to. Okay. Mm. This is uh, Monica. Exactly. Okay, okay. Okay, I've just called you because of the issue that we discussed about. Okay. Yes. I wanted an ex excavator to expand my business at the mining sites. Huh. Well, my... Yes. My sister, mm. I'm unable to provide you with the excavator. But why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. You can try somewhere else. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. But that's what I can tell you. I'm unable. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What happened was that we didn't actually get in touch with a big company. Reason why that uh, they were not ready to support us, that was their view. We have seen the government supporting farmers, but sometimes crops, the seasons perish. But for us, we also say it is the high time government to come and stand with us, stand with us, support us financially, such that we can make this investment, rather than the government thinking that only the, uh, the investors who come from outside, they are the only one who can do this. Even as, as citizens of Uganda, we can do it, so long as we are supported. Gold mine is capital intensive. Uh, and these artisanal and small scale miners don't have the financial resources to uh, work these mines uh, to the extent to, to the expectations of government or even the, the miners themselves. So the biggest challenge at the policy level that we have been facing is the financial institutional understanding of the mining sector. There's a lot of investment that has gone into supporting agriculture uh, as an economy, but very little has been done with regard to the mining sector. Now the conversations that we are having is how do we attract 
the financial institutions into understanding how they can support a formalized uh, a gold mining sector, a formalized mineral sector. So for the small actors like Adzano Miners, they, there is now a very progressive uh, licensing regime which allows you to grow from a small, uh, an artisanal miner to a small-scale miner. You can go to medium and large-scale. Previously, there was a limitation uh, where they would only hold a location license which would restrict them to a particular uh, uh, level of capital investment. That has changed now, and they're able to grow uh, from one level to another. So the, it has facilitated their growth, and uh, I think they're very happy with this particular uh, policy direction that government has brought up. Monica. Uh, I have a dream of becoming a big businesswoman and I'm still going to follow it up. Um, how I'm going to do so is I'm going to still stick on this mining uh, methods and also I'll get the village savings loans that will help me uh, to actually get into my dreams.